Okay, so we just got off the highway. We are Chemin Côte Saint-Luc, so in Montreal region. Uh, just going up to Westmount, we're gonna try out a, a few uh, tricky roads with some sharp turns. So yeah, so this is FSD Beta 10.11.2. Uh, for those who've never seen an FSD beta video, I am in full control. I can disactivate um, the self-driving system uh, by pressing on the brake, um, uh, pressing upwards on this, um, I forget the word, let's call it a joystick for now, uh, or I can take over on the steering wheel. Uh, so you know the system is activated when the steering wheel is blue. And when you see this uh, kind of tentacle where the car wants to go, uh, be in blue as well, instead of gray. So the car is having to decide whether to go or not and when. I can still see the green light, so we are allowed to go. So we'll see how the car handles this. Hey Tesla. Oof, that's a bumpy road, so. I'm gonna take it down a notch to 30, just in case. So the car is rendering these posts as cones, slowing down, getting extremely close. More on the, more as soon as I passed. Okay, so I think this is where the uh, tricky roads are coming. So. That was a stop. I am going to report that to Tesla. Yes, I did just run a stop. There was no one around. I don't think I... I don't think we heard anybody. I let it see. I didn't think it was actually going to do it. So this is, let's say, a 165 degree turn. <laughs> and the car decides not to do it. I have seen it do it before though, so I know it can. It just doesn't feel like it right now. So it's going to uh, readjust the navigation, so we're going to be taking the next right. Jerk to the left there, not the most comfortable feeling going to go around to the left of this vehicle. You see it stopping for the stop sign and the person. Let's see what's Let's see how it does here. Uh, I don't know the region. I've been here uh, twice with FSD Beta uh, during the night time. Okay, it was not slowing down fast enough for that speed bump. And it does seem to be uh, capping a 40 kilometer per hour speed limit. So here uh, it did go that back down to 30. So I'm going to reactivate it. Should go around this car. So it's doing a little bit of a jerky, uh, jerky motion. And this is a very tight road. And I am going to reduce that speed down to 25. So there's a stop here. And I th think, is there a light? No, there's no light. So this is a 170 degree turn. Let's see how the car does here. Okay. That's the first time it's managed to do that. So that's a 170, almost uh, 180 degree turn on bumpy roads on Mount, Ro Mount Royal, Montreal, Westmount region. Slowing down here. It tends to do that when there's no lane lines and there's cars around, tight roads. These roads are horrendous. This is like borderline off-road feeling. It's going to have to turn 
right here and I see some construction. Okay, so in Montreal we can't turn right on reds, so it's going to have to figure out that it needs to go around this construction. And our car is also wanting to turn, but it's making it. I'm pressing a little bit on the pedal here. disengage there just in case I actually don't know if it is a 50 or a 40 okay well hopefully do not tag me there okay so I'm gonna reactivate it as D now Okay, so it's not going to turn right here, so it's slowing down here. So I'm gonna press a little bit on the pedal because people drive, uh, let's say, aggressively. Okay, so it's slowing down. Putting its flasher. Okay, it's fine. Went to the right lane. Okay, now it's gonna have to get into the left lane. It's putting its flasher being aggressive, that's good. That was an assertive pass. The car at the back was close, but letting us pass. Okay, so we're, I'm gonna disengage there. I don't know why we're turning right when we have to turn uh, left here. It's doing it again. Oh, it was going the right place. It, it was me. Okay, so that was uh, human error. <laughs> Me not being able to follow the map and not trusting the car. Okay, so we're going to have to do kind of this, uh, this detour here. It's good, it's not allowed to go in that one way. The GPS was telling the car to go though, so that's very interesting. That was really interesting. So the GPS navigation was telling the car to go the wrong way on a one-way street and the car did not do it and it decided to keep on going and it re-navigated. So it does tend to go right when it's not supposed to. Okay. I'm gonna take control. This is uh, a little bit too uh, stressful for me at the moment. <laughs> I'll get there, I'll get there. So this is a 7, 7 15 p.m. in Montreal. Uh, the car is jittering everywhere. People are opening their doors. There's an impatient Audi Ethic RS3 behind me. The car doesn't know where to go. I'm not taking control yet. I'm pressing on the pedal since that Audi is really close to me. <laughs> Pedestrian not sure what they should do. Okay, so we are turning right here. Okay, I'm going to press on the pedal since the car is being way too cautious around those pedestrians. is stopping, the car is going to have to put its flasher on. So the car is just standing here. I'm going to take control and report that to Tesla.
lot of people turning left here, so I initiated a right lane change. So it was a manual initiation, but the car did the lane change itself. Uh, so there's a few cyclists here. The car is leaving room for them. I'm gonna keep my hands extremely close. I don't want the car to do anything stupid around people or bikes, cyclists. That was really good. that cyclist was going to our lane and I did feel it swerve slightly but not into the oncoming lane since there was a car. Yeah there's just a lot going on here. Lack of lane lines, uh, cyclists, kind of funky uh, roads, people taking risky moves. The car is kind of soaking it up right now. So I am curious to see what it will do around these cyclists. So is it going to choose the left lane or the right lane? So it's going back into the right lane, that's good. and that's cyclists. So we'll keep, uh, we'll keep an eye out for that. Uh, so I wonder how it's going to handle this situation. Okay, so it doesn't, it doesn't care about the cars whatsoever at our left. It just cuts them off. So I took control there. I'm pretty sure I stopped that person. So in that situation with a car in the left lane, I think the car should have just uh, waited for the cyclists. So I'm reactivating FSD. And the car wasn't reacting really quick enough to realize that. I'm not convinced it sees blinkers and four ways yet, or reacts to them. <laughs> 